I do that too here right on Twitter it's the same thing there's the prefix right there and Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the best way that you can create videos with a highlight at the beginning and a trailer and you know make it so that you don't have to spend crazy amounts of time to do that every time you do video so for me I do videos every week and I've been creating them using a special process and a tool that you can have access to I'm going to explain how that works in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so that's right you know as a course creator you need to have an audience you need to be creating content and if you don't do that you need to have lots of money to do ads right so one of the things that I teach is how to build an audience and how to create content for that audience and we're going to go specifically today into how I do these videos I don't know if you've been following me for any amount of time but you can see that every single video of mine at least the recent ones the last maybe three or six months I forget how long I started to go have a highlight at the very beginning which is kind of something inside the video someplace else and they have like a little intro there and I have me talking and then I have a, a, a suffix um, a trailer at the end we're going to talk about how to get all that done but before we do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the, the video because we're definitely going to be sharing my screen showing you the process showing you the tools and we're going to talk through the process and why uh and what you what pieces you need right it's it's really simple to do it does take a few steps but once you get it it's really cool to do so all right so I'm going to go and ahead and share my screen and show you what I'm talking about right now all right so say for example on my on my Instagram on my LinkedIn on my Facebook on my blog on, I'm on YouTube you know on Twitter um there's this video that I post regularly right so every week I'll be posting a video and I'd post other things but we're just talking about the video that I post like if I look at this video here right this video actually is starts like this and it's the format of what they call IGTV or reels now there's no more IGTV but that's the, that's beside the point so that's the on in on LinkedIn you have the video right here that's playing as well and it's got a little intro at the beginning the same intro at the beginning if I go to Facebook you can see if I play these it'll oh, actually show you let's turn the volume off so you see it starts off with this little like little highlight then my little you know a uh, trailer and I guess this would be called a, a header a anyways a, a prefix to the video they all have the same thing now it could be something else I mean obviously what I have there isn't super high quality but that's not the point the point is you need those pieces and if you want to be now if I look at see the previous weeks um is this another one yeah so the previous weeks one if I press this one there's a highlight at the beginning like this right this highlight that's there just a five second highlight then the same prefix or of the video right there and then my video starts right and if I go to the previous one I scroll down to some of the older videos I did like this one is this a video yep that one here it's great to have the list you can go and, and that one starts with a prefix again right it's a, a prefix with my prefix video I sorry the highlight and prefix video and then the rest of the video starts and then the other thing that's that's common to all my videos is I have a trailer at the end at the end of this I have a trailer that basically tells people let's go here go here there so at the end I have a trailer like this that basically tells people that this was part of a longer video because what I do is I record 20 to 30 minutes even sometimes 45 minute videos and I add I cut it and I post on Facebook um a five minute one four minute 51 you can see right there um on uh LinkedIn is also five minute video so if I go back to the go to the end here you'll see that it goes the last few seconds it's like this right and if I go to uh Instagram this video here 
is the same I don't know if you can you fast forward on I guess you can't fast forward on Instagram can you oh no I guess not I'm not sure not, not on the computer anyways probably on your phone you can um but it's the same thing it's got a it's got a the header the trailer there and um where else I uh, also on on Twitter I do that oh, I do that too here right, right on Twitter it's the same thing there's the prefix right there and then there's the or sorry the highlight then the prefix and then it lasts only a minute 51 seconds because on Twitter the maximum length is two minutes right so you can do that for for Pinterest you can do that for MeWe you can do that for TikTok you can create videos for TikTok to upload if you really wanted to personally I don't do that on TikTok I just do uh, story style videos on TikTok but and then I have the full video on my YouTube channel right here see 34 minutes 17 minutes these are shorts I have 39 minutes here 35 minutes so those are their full videos as you can see I don't get millions of views here because I'm not promoting the the, the videos on my on my YouTube but that isn't even the point of this video what I want to show you is how do you create a video that has a little highlight at the beginning without I mean you know what you could use tools like video editor or can uh, uh, what's it called C uh, not canva that's the I think, uh, camtasia you can use camtasia you can use a uh, uh, tools on, on the mac there's these tools uh, on open shot on windows there's tools you can use to take multiple pieces of video right cut it up and add this to the beginning put this in the middle here put that there no you can do all that but that takes so much time it takes time for you and time for your computer to work so that's I'm that's not what I do I don't do that like that that's not what I do so what I do is I have a process okay let's just go back to let's go to um basically just a little notes here I'm going to put some notes in here so so how do you so how do you do that how do you do that quickly right so number one you need you so this is assuming that every day every week whenever however often you want to do it you record a longer video so say 15 to 30 minutes okay you need a, a longer video so number one you got to have a longer video number two you need a uh, prefix video right so let's say 30 to 60 seconds max I would say if you can make it shorter than that if you can make 10 seconds even better mine is I think just uh 15 seconds I'm not sure um number three you need you need you need a uh, a trailer video so this again is going to be 30 to 60 seconds max I would say the thing you have to keep in mind is that if you want to be creating videos for for TikTok uh, not TikTok for Twitter if you want to be creating videos for Twitter because Twitter has a maximum of two minutes 120 seconds maybe 119 seconds I'm not sure but if it has a maximum of two minutes then that means you need to keep take this into account with this into account so I mean if your video if your you know prefix is uh is 60 seconds your trailer is 60 seconds well you you already have your two minutes used up you you can't even put anything else in it right so I I should probably revisit that to maybe I'll, I'll tell you let's do let's do five to 15 seconds for that maximum they really don't want it to be longer than that like because if it's too long then you won't even have uh the ability to create uh a Twitter video right if you don't care about the Twitter video you can make them longer but the thing you have to realize is that anybody watching your videos if they see your videos lots of times and your 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 you know your prefix and your trailer are too long they'll kind of be like oh I already seen this and they're gonna not watch the rest they don't typically skip over so you got to make sure that's really short so that they don't they don't feel like they're you know re-watching something they've seen already before right all right so um yeah so let's see uh so then the other thing is uh you need to have uh okay let's just get that over there we don't need that right so let's say it's 15 15 minutes uh for, so okay so doo -doo -doo, we need the trailer the the and then and then okay so this is so you need those things 
prepare it ahead of time you're you're going to need to uh, do a little prefix video right so the prefix video is kind of like your introduction right you can have like any little short little video about what you are about or maybe what your channel is about what your your episodes are about right kind of like what I have in mind which is um let me show you right here if I go back to here I was just going to get I'll get into that in a second here but if I look at this I'll show you I have a, a couple of different uh, intros that I created so if I just uh, this is one here so I created this intro here which basically is a fire or whatever thing I use something called video uh, videos um now these files I have on my computer too so let me just go find them <coughs> um where is it I think they're all in, inside of here if I remember correctly I have the videos I just created them videos right here so blogs uh, all right intro must be these things is it no these are intros uh, I don't even remember oh there's logo drop right here oh there it is. there they are okay I'm just gonna move that over I should have probably moved that over to the other side okay logo drop this is kind of the one we just saw right um let's turn the volume let's turn the sound on to the uh, actual so you can actually hear what they are let's play this again this is not actually I don't like this that much that's why I ended up not using it but this is an example here another one here that's kind of cool one but anyways I didn't use that one then there's this one well, that could have been cool but anyways then what else do I have uh, um there's a book one here kind of cool right anyways you can do that with a thing called video videos there's the, and there's a whole bunch of other options out there but you can also hire somebody to do an intro video that you want to use that you're going to use in all your videos right so you got to have that you need to have your intro video right you need your your prefix or let's just call this an intro uh intro video so you need an intro video that kind of is uh, what your channel's about right so what is your channel about um who you are now you can do any of that or as little as you wanted that you know like for me I have this intro that I'm actually using inside my inside my um when I'm recording I use this intro thing here which has this thing right you've seen that before right so the real question is this so right uh, um this what is longer right this is 22 seconds right so this is 22 seconds that's part of I actually could put that inside the mix right where I just uh add it using this tool that I'm about to show you but I actually record it as part of my OBS recording right right now I'm using OBS to record my record my video and whenever I'm 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 saying okay but first this right whenever I say that I switch over to that video and so that it's recorded as part of my recording you don't have to do it that way but that's kind of how I'm doing it right but that's where I put this who am I and what the course is about so that's why my little intro was much less than that it's just maybe I shouldn't be putting that in there uh maybe this should just be um just channel uh pop up music int intro right maybe that's what that should be then maybe we should talk about how you also need a 
channel intro video so this can be 10 to 20 seconds let's say right um and that would be something you would put in every single one of your videos as you record this is four over here and then the trailer video so this is who you are and what whoops and what is channel uh, about right so what's your channel about and then you need a trailer video this one is to tell them what to do at end of video so this is not an a, well there's I guess there's two different trailers so let's call this the trailer this is uh finish finish introducing the channel and what's next right so that's basically this one that I have here which is the uh, outro this one here which is at the end of all my videos which you're going to hear uh, in a bit too this has been course income right? secret so this one here is also uh 23 seconds so it basically just says what this has been you know come subscribe and all those things right uh so you choose you can choose different um you can do it differently if you want but me that's kind of what I did I created them like this the point is that you need some little videos that are going to be used in every single one of your other videos so that they can get all tied together right so and then let's say number five uh you need a uh, uh a trimmed trimmed video trailer okay so that again is five to 15 seconds uh whoops now this one can be more than five to 15 just let's say this one is 20 to 30 seconds let's say this whatever it's really up to you like I said whatever amount you put in here just keep in mind that if you make them too long there's going to be consequences right or impacts to that so it's really up to you how you decide to make them shorter long right okay let me turn this off here okay so you need a trim video this is for trimmed content with uh to tell to tell them tell them where to watch full video okay so in my case I use my blog to post a blog post and the full video it's also on my channel my YouTube channel right it's actually public right you see these are public these are public so I actually post my videos in my YouTube channel and then I create a blog post with that in there so right so I do this and then that's basically the videos here right in my outro video and my trimmed outro video right my trimmed outro video I tell them to go check out my video so this is kind of where do I have it here with force okay so basically what I did is um this one here so basically what I did is I did a, a blank a, a piece of black and a black image right with this I put this text on it and I'm just reading that text in my in my video that I do of this right and that that was done a separate way it's not this is not where I'm not going to talk to you about how to do those things but if you want to know how to do those things certainly reach out we have a conversation I can help you or point you to the right place but basically I'm just recording this and I'm I'm reading what's there because this is also I also use it for my an audio right I also use it as an audio I I create I take the the audio out of the video and post it in my in, in as a um, as a podcast right so you know people that are listening to the podcast they don't see the screen so they can't read it so I that's why I'm reading it so that it shows up in my audio as well right but basically I'm telling them to go to more to go to this this page this link which is my blog post right which is this page here which if they go to it uh chances are they're well 
I'm offering them to get on my email list and all those things and I have these other ebooks I have here plus you can read the whole blog post right for each of the each of the episodes and you can watch the full video if you want as well right here that's basically what I'm doing in my short videos is getting people to come to my blog and hopefully get on my email list as well right that's what uh, all leaders teach build your email list right and if you don't have a blog well then do that in your YouTube channel right do that in your YouTube channel where if they come to watch this video here um, is there another way to I guess I gotta if they come to the video right they'll see the video here and they're gonna be able to watch it just like they're on YouTube oh, you're awesome. right and it's basically gonna do the same thing the prefix and then the and then after that you can have text in here if you want to tell them to go in my case I tell them to go to my um you know course income link here and all that and that's kind of how I get them to if they ever go to my YouTube but you could make your YouTube the place where they click here to subscribe or things like that right um or I mean to get on your email list right you can do that that's up to you but okay now let's get to the tool so the tool is is basically um a syndication engine so what that means is it lets you create content for different um different platforms but in our case we're going to be talking about videos right so I want to create a video so how does that work so let's just close this first let's go to okay first you're going to want to go to um, 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 um let's put the link right on here syndication so you're going to want to go to this link here which is syndication of content it's not specifically talking about the videos necessarily because it lets you do a whole bunch of other things but basically that's what I do right I create a video let's put that in the, as a link here um, um, um. <laughs> okay so syndication it's going to be the link here you should be seeing that on screen or no, not really but <laughs> let's just make it uh no that's right I want the background to be uh-huh there we go let's make the link blue over here all right and let's resize it so you can actually see it so you just go to clickycourse.com slash syndicate whoops what happened here I don't think I like this let me just uh, change the background again some more maybe this has to be a little bit darker I don't know I like this to, I'd rather have this white white background and yeah that's better I like that better don't you do you like that better there you go syndicate go to clickycourse.com slash syndicate you'll get to this page here you can create an account and all this stuff um so we're not going to go through the details of that but it's basically you you click on that well actually let's do it for a second um so if I if you go there you're going to see this which is basically kind of what we just saw except that you're not going to have an account so you're going to click on the register right here and you're just going to say continue with Facebook that'll create an account for you it's a free account <coughs> there's limitations with the free account in terms of you know number of things you can do and stuff but you'll be able to do everything we show you here so you, once you have your account then you will go to you will you can read this up a little bit right this is kind of like originally what I had done was a syndication to post to like 20 or 30 different platforms and kind of show you how I'm doing it right I'm creating a video and then, then I'm creating a blog post and I use this automation here to do this and this automation here to do that whatever all this stuff we're going to talk about specific for videos you want to add a highlight to video and exactly how you do that so let's go into here just a second uh, let me see let me see where am I where am I okay so once you're here you can just go you, you see how it says create a free account right here then you go to account syndicate so just go there afterwards 
once you're there you need to create a series so right now I haven't I have a whole bunch of series but you're going to want to create a new series so let's call this test cis for what is it for hold on hold on hold on hold on to your horses it's going to be da -da -da -da. oh yes okay I guess I I did it already but it's 429 and then da -da -da. okay so what happens when you do that when you create a new series so think of a series as like a tv show series right where you have a weekly episode so the series will all have the same exact title it'll have all the same exact introduction to the episode it'll have the same you know mostly the same end to it in terms of the music and stuff like that right when you're watching a tv show it starts with the you know I'm sure they have this little highlight at the beginning then they have the the title and the and the music of you know who the actors are and all that stuff then they have the show and then at the end they have the um credits and all that with the the trailer music right so think of it that way this is a series you're creating a new tv show okay so I'm just going to call it let's call it um test show for um for okay so just because I'm using this is the episode I'm, I'm building right now so I just want to do this so I know what this is about so I click on done I don't have to change anything else right now but I have the show and uh normally what I do is it's called a syndication which really means new a new episode right so I'm just going to click on new here I'm going to give it call this uh, show show number one now obviously when it's a show the shows have titles right like if you're if you watch any episode any tv shows each episode will have its own title like you know um I don't know I'm, I've been watching Stargate uh recently so one show was uh called trio another one was called um family ties and you know things like that right so there's a name so obviously it's not going to be show number one but you have an episode number here which is one two three four whatever it automatically it'll increase it for you but you could always change it if you wanted but it's a number so one two three right um show number one I'll just call it show number one I'll go next step next thing you want to do is you want to set, specify the url that you want that you're going to want people to use to go access more information right so this is this is the url that you put for the specific episode you don't have to you can be the same thing like me I can put my blog right here and it can be the same for everything but that's not even so okay here's the real secret the first thing you got to do is you got to upload a video and I'm kind of thinking am I explaining this right they, really we need to have these things the, the prefix videos and all those other things we need to have them ready right so before we do that let me just upload a short video it doesn't really matter make it a short one that won't take too long to upload <laughs> so this will upload this video while we're doing this and in the meantime um let me see I just want to so yeah so what you want to be thinking about is what do you want okay let's go back to the notes while this is happening so what do we want what do do we want to create each week right or each episode right so each week day uh, month right each time each time each time we upload a video with prefix and all that stuff what do we want to create right so um so what we want at least what I want is number one video for Twitter so this will be a uh, hundred and twenty seconds or let's say 115 seconds just to give it a bit of padding right number two we want a video for for uh Facebook LinkedIn um and, uh, well I guess yeah so this one will be 490 seconds so 500 no 600 seconds no 300 okay 300 
what is it five minutes five yeah 300 seconds is five minutes so let's say I want well that's fine 300 seconds right so that's five minutes and then we want number three we want a video for Instagram slash reels right so this again will be 300 seconds but vertical vertical right so basically that's what I want right I want those videos for my um for my posting all right so you might be thinking how do you accomplish that with what I'm talking about right this whole thing where I'm telling you to create an episode and all this so the way it works is you got to have these videos uploaded these videos uploaded and then you create a sequence of things that happen whenever you upload a new video so you got your weekly content that you're going to be creating and recording and every single week you want to create these sets of videos right all these videos here that you want to create for different reasons right so uh, actually let's do number four you want to have audio of full video maybe you also want to have audio of five minute video don't know right maybe you want that too maybe you want to have other things as well maybe you want to have a Facebook video that's 10 minutes instead of five minutes it's really up to you how you configure this and how you uh, do it right okay sorry so how does it work so first like we just did here I uploaded the video now obviously this is a one minute 50 second video so that's not gonna let us do what we want but what we want to do is we want to edit the series so the series defines what happens every time you add a new episode and in the series you're going to see there's a whole bunch of different things that are predefined already there's all these uh template see how this says t right here that's text so we don't want to worry about the text right now we can probably get rid of them we can click on them whoops actually you can just mouse over it and delete it if you don't want it right let's say I don't want this I'll just delete it and does that so you don't care about those you can just delete those which I think maybe it's not working is it <laughs> I guess I found a bug here as we're doing this yeah anyways don't worry about it so right now what we want is we want to have these sources so this one here trim 2m is something that already does a trimming of the video so if I click on it I can see right here that the name of it is trim 2m the label I can put other things if I want but right there's none and this is the action there's different actions so trim and fade video so what that does is it'll you know trim the video to a certain length that you want and then fade the end of it so that it and ends with the the ends with well so that it fades you know video video wise and audio wise you can also do fade plus add outro which is what I really want so I'm going to change it to trim plus add out outro and then what I want is the asset source let's just save that and then we go back to it because there was no uh, place to put the extra asset so the other asset I want <coughs> this will automatically add a video called outro so actually you know what before we do that I forgot I forgot we've got to add we got to add some new the new things that we want we want to add we want to upload a video we want to upload well actually just the video so we're going to upload a video input this will be um intro and I'm going to choose you know, one of these intro files so that's not here let's find that let's say we want this book intro no let's do the let's do this one we're going to add this energy burst logo video sure why not right and then I just save that so that's going to upload that and then that becomes a video that's available <coughs> as a uh, outro so actually I forgot 
no let's change this one too you want this one to also be train and video plus add outro and then we want to have so we have the intro right here and then we need outro so I'm going to add another video that's called outro outro and it's going to be I guess in my case it's going to be to be continued uh, da, da, da. outro to be continued with voice let's do this one and then save that that's going to upload it actually I already have it so that's why it didn't take okay and then we have the outro the intro and then we have the trim two minute and five minutes that's already there uh, but let's say I want to create a new video output so let's create a new video output and actually I'm gonna I need to create a highlight so this will be highlight and I'm going to call it the action is going to be extract video from other video right here from <coughs> syndication source video that's actually the source that I uploaded right and then I'm going to take maximum length this will be well I don't even need to do that here da, 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 da. I don't need to because there's a so that's all we do we just create the extract video I'm going to call it like this and then that adds it here highlight right now what I want to do next is I want to put my highlight plus my prefix together right so intro and highlight so let's create another one so this will be add two videos together concatenate two videos together right so this will be um highlight intro so highlight with the intro so this will be the first video will be the highlight and then the second one will be the intro I'm just going to save it all right so that creates me a new input now what I want is I want to create the final video that has those three those three pieces right so basically I'm going to have the highlight plus intro plus the main video so here's the other thing so this is full video let's call it just full or full let's just call it full and this will be uh again concatenate two videos together because we're going to concatenate the first two that we already put together which is one now right with the main one so the first one is going to be the highlight and intro and then the next one is going to be the syndication source and then we're just going to do that okay so now I'm creating this highlight so now here's the other thing like my, my two minute video it's not the source video I want to trim is this new video that I created that has everything in it so I got to go back to here and I got to go change and I want to say I want to trim the full and then this one is going to be 110 sure that's fine and then the trim five minutes is going to be the same thing I want to have I want to trim oh that's just that's right just the source I want to trim the full video I save that okay so now I'm going to have generated automatically whenever I tell it to whenever I upload a new video right every week every every um month or however often you do these it's gonna uh, create all these videos for me right the highlight video the highlight intro the trim the full and also the trim two minute and the five minute then the wave audio again I don't want to extract the audio from the source I want to extract the audio from the full there we go uh what else do I want do I not care about any of these these are gifts source video thumbs or video okay so uh we can talk about more of these things like for example if I want to upload a video I just click on video here it lets me upload a video if I want to upload an audio it lets me do that here if I want to upload an image it lets me do that here if I want to upload subtitles which I don't think I've ever needed you can do that here then you create output by either creating text output or by creating so for example you could have text output for YouTube for Facebook for LinkedIn based on the length right the maximum length things like that but anyways for now it's just not worry about that uh, you can create um, image output image output lets you do things like resize an image 
uh, you can do a um, oh these are the source uh, asset source right the resize add image to background create a generate create a gif add image on gif extract video thumbnail right so you can do all those different things from for images as well right so there's lots of stuff you can do but right now we're just focusing on creating your highlight your highlight prefix and your full video with those three things in it which will also have at the trimmed here will also have the um, outro at the end of it so it'll take the full video that has the highlight the prefix and the original video and it'll trim that to the length of two or five minutes you can like I said you could have a 10 minute trim if you wanted but that's kind of how that works and once that's defined that's done only once you never have to do it again in your whole uh video series but here's the thing so now you see that we got title info video source we have video extract right here when I click on this it asks me where do I want to do this where do I want to get the highlight where do I want to get the thumbnail uh where do I want to get the video thumbnail so in this case of this video it's just a five it's actually not a real it's not a real I guess I can just uh so let's say I wanted to have I don't have anything here anyways it's all just me talking here but let's say I wanted to do this 102 see how it says 102 right there I can put that here 102 and like it says plus 10 I want just five seconds just do five seconds click on the outside and cups them all over which is not going to be valid so you just click on those again to fix it and that tells you the exact position it's at right now which is this what you're seeing right there on the screen that's what it's going to take so if I go on next step here it's asking me for text you don't need that for you what you're doing you just go to generated assets here and you click on generate assets so now what that's going to do is it's going to take that video that we uploaded and it's going to start to process things some of these that are saying pending is because they're not I don't have the text but you see right here video thumb is processing the gift thumb is processing the highlight is processing it's at three percent so the highlight is getting extracted from that position inside the video right and then after the highlight is generated when it's ready then it's going to start to do this one so this one's waiting it says waiting for highlight not done yet right because this highlight wasn't done at the time now it's done so now it's starting so now it's taking the highlight plus the prefix and putting it together and once that's together you'll have the highlight intro video which is done right now and now it's going to do the the full which will be those two together right and after that it's going to do the trims and the, anyways it does it all in sequence it knows what to do first so you don't have to wait around you don't have to use a tool you don't have to move things around you just upload it click a button and wait and you can go do other things right right now it's doing it it's processing it and uh, you know if I look at this if I click on this download here it's going to show me the video uh that it just did the highlight little five second highlight inside the video that is fast right so this is a five second highlight that is out of this video obviously this is not the kind of highlight I would normally use but this is it it's five seconds right here that's it right so but and then the highlight plus the intro has the highlight again the same five seconds at the beginning oops audience fast right so it does the same five seconds see two three four five and then it's going to give us our you know trailer that we chose which I guess it's supposed to say course anyways whatever I guess that's a bad video <laughs> but obviously if you choose the video that's not right it's going to give you something that's not right but in my case I uploaded the wrong thing if I go back to edit series here and I go back into it's probably the highlight uh the no the intro right here that's probably wrong so this intro here is just what we just saw there right oops stop playing yeah so that's the intro we just saw that doesn't have the text on it right which is missing something right but that's kind of that's kind of how it works you just need to go to this link here click ecourse.com syndicate and then go set up an account then you can create this and I probably need to do a little bit better job of explaining it and going through the steps one by one uh, because it is it is a lot but the the secret is that once you've got it set up you don't have to touch any of this anymore all you got to do is just new syndication upload a new video 
click the button to generate the assets that's it then you go and download the individual pieces that you need for your posts to Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or anything right and for the Instagram one I actually didn't show you that but the Instagram one if I go here and I create a new video what I want here is I want to burn subtitles on video so what I want is I'm gonna have to look up how I did that because I'm doing it in my other one maybe I can go back to my own syndication here and I can edit this series I can show you how I'm doing this here in the IGTV header file okay so I have a header file here for IGTV and then where's my IGTV video IGTV video is right here so what does that do so create IGTV video oh okay it's actually a create IGTV video it's actually a specific a specific task or action takes the five minute trim video and takes the subtitles which I have we have to generate from the source subtitles anyways it's all part of the thing you don't have to do any of this work you just have to set it up so that it's available and it does its thing all right so like I said it is a little complicated to understand but it's still the fastest way to do it once you've got it set up you don't have to worry about it anymore you just like I mean I've been running this for like hundreds of times where I just upload a video and that's it I don't have to worry about setting it up it's already set up for me and it does everything I need every single time and that's kind of how you do it all right hopefully you got some value from this and as always if you have any questions just go ahead and reach out we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.